Hello, welcome to my review of Justice League Jack Snyder Cut, the director's cut. Um, just finished the movie, four hours long, yeah. Um, definitely worth watching it again for me for sure. Would I watch the entire four hours again? I don't think so. Um, but for sure, I will rewatch this movie. There are so much, so much more. Um, big fan of Zack Snyder's. Love Man of Steel. I like the first two thirds of Batman vs Superman. So naturally, I was disappointed to see the version that we saw as far as in the movie theater, the Josh Whedon slash. Zack Snyder, Justice League. I, I I saw it once and I couldn't bear watch it again. Uh, if I had to give a grade, I give that maybe maybe a three out of ten. This movie, this director's cut, I will give it a seven, maybe seven point five out of ten. Okay, definitely worth sitting down again. Overall, I enjoyed it. Um, did it seem like too long not really but I do think that there are quite a few small parts here and there that could have been left out shave off and the movie maybe at the longest would be say three and a half hours okay I can see that easily there's quite a few scenes that I, that I say wouldn't need two minutes of that for example when Aquaman first met Batman and they have a little talk and then he leave the um leave and go into the ocean there's a group of women that sang that entire sequence of them starting singing to the all the way through to the end maybe two minutes but yeah did we need that did i need that no so i can see you know many little things like that throughout the four hours that i say i didn't need to see that scenes um I definitely like the expanded scenes with the background of Flash, um, the background of um, Cyborg, and more so Aquaman. I thought the additional stuff with Aquaman works really well, okay? Um, there was a few silly part, you know, but for, for example, when there was a fishing boat that's um, near Capside, and Aquaman came to save the day. Okay, so why does Aquaman need to wear a shirt? And of course, he brought the man back into the bar, drop him off, and then go back in the ocean. And before he went into back in the ocean, he didn't rip his shirt off. <laughs> Aquaman does not need to wear a shirt. Okay, if you want to showcase Jason Momoa hot bodies just have Aquaman be half naked the whole movies okay so little things like that was kind of silly um now the star though for me in this movie Wonder Woman wow this is the best Wonder Woman movie ever yeah it's a Justice League movie but when it comes when it comes down to the star Wonder Woman was portrayed so great in this movie especially all the action for sure, Patty Jenkins is a decent director, slash good director, but my God, you put Wonder Woman in the hand of Zack Snyder, and what you got is incredible action sequence with Wonder Woman. Incredible. My favorite is the battle in the first chapter, the Amazonian. Wow. That is epic. Some of the greatest superhero action sequence in any movie. Okay, so heads off to Zach as far as his vision. No doubt his style works for me. Um, you know, the, the, is it a perfect movie? No. Um, but to me, Wonder Woman was definitely the star of this movie. Um, and Steppenwolf. Steppenwolf was such a badass from beginning to end. And that ending sequence with Wonder Woman dropping the sword. Oh, I can watch that. 
I can watch the first and the last many, many times. If I watch this movie again, I will pick chapter one and the last chapter again and again and again because it's that good for me. Um, I hope you enjoy this version of the movie. I did. Did I wish that they figured out how to put this version in the movie theater instead of what we had a few years ago? I wish they did that. That would have been the correct move. Ah, oh, at least we got to see it now. That's it for my review of Justice League: The Snyder Cut. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.